Hi, my name is Tom and welcome to Honest Student Budget. This is going to be a comparison video between the Havi B3 Pro 1 earphones I have here on my right and the VSonic GR07. And the version I have here is the base edition, so it definitely has more bass than the normal GR07. Now, in terms of pricing, the Havi B3 Pro 1s can be purchased on lemmeyourears.com or pendantaudio.com for about 60 US dollars. While the GRL's VSonic GR07 base edition can be purchased on lemmeyourears.com for about $127 right now. That said, the GRL7s were priced about $179 uh, originally. So in terms of pricing, these two earphones are in totally different worlds. And you might think I'm a crazy person for even comparing these two earphones. That said, I think that the heavy earphones are just they perform supremely well for their price range and I think that they are worthy of this comparison video. So I actually have an earlier comparison video between the Havi B3 Pro 1s and the VSonic VSD3S and I'll put it in the annotation above my finger right here if you haven't seen it. And I actually have a full review on the Havi earphones and I'll put it in the annotation above my finger over here. And you can check it out. So in this comparison video we're going to be checking out the build quality the comfort, the isolation, and of course the sound quality between these two earphones. So without further ado, let's get into the comparison. So in terms of build quality, both the earpieces on the VSonic GR07 and the Havi earphones are both made out of plastic, so I would say that's a draw in that category. But let's take a look at the cable with the GR07s first of all. So the cable on the GR07 I think is actually perfect. It's the perfect combination of not being too thin and not being too thick at the same time to be unwieldy. And I think the aesthetic design on the cable is really well done. It has this candy stripe coloring to it and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And going to the Wi-Fi connector, again here it's well relieved and I really like it. And going to the bottom cable, it's similar to the top, it's still very nice in the hand. And it ends in an L-shaped headphone jack. And there's enough room here that can get through your smartphone cases. So this he uh, headphone jack, I think, is really well executed. Now let's take a look at the Havi earphones. So in terms of the cabling, the top half of the cable of the Havi earphones are a bit thin for my liking. But that said, it doesn't feel insubstantial in the hand, but it is a bit thin and something to note. And going to the Y-shaped connector here, it's actually really well relieved. I really like it. But my biggest gripe is actually the bottom half of this cable. It feels a little, it's a little, it carries a lot of weight to it compared to the uh, GR07s and it's a bit flat and kind of unwieldy in the hand. But it ends in a L-shaped headphone jack, same with, similar with the GR07s, and it has enough room to get through your smartphone cases again. So I think, in terms of overall build quality, I think that the GR07s are better built compared to the Havi earphones, but I think the GR, uh, Havi earphones are very well built for their price. Now, in terms of comfort, I think that the GR07s wins in this category again. Why? Because the GR07s actually has an adjustable nozzle. So this part here, it can actually adjust to however your ear is shaped or in whatever direction your ear canal is shaped. So it can highly personal, personalized and customizable. And the actual housing is actually rather small compared to the heavy earphones. So it definitely fits uh, more people. So if you have small outer ears, I think the GR07s are a perfect option in that regard. Now in terms of isolation, taking a look at the GR07s first of all. So if the camera can focus, you can see here there is is a ported design, so there's one port here and another port here. So having these ports means that more noise can come in and more noise can leak out. So in terms of isolation, the GR07 does suffer in this regard and I think it's about just average in this category and I, I'd be happy to recommend this for light uh, traveling purposes such as biking, walking around in the city while maintaining enough situational awareness to make sure that you don't get run over by a car or anything like that. That said, the Havi earphones again are a vented earphone. There is one vent right here. The camera can focus right here where my thumb is. So there's one vent and I think that the isolation on the Havi earphones are better and I would be uh, happy to recommend commuting with these earphones whether you're on the bus or even on the subway. So in terms of isolation, the Havis take this category. Before I dive into the sound quality portion of this comparison video, I'd just like to let you know that I use both of these earphones off of my iPod Touch and what's the Havi B3 Pro 1 video without telling you how much power it actually uses. So 
For the GR07s, I was able to achieve my normal listening levels at about 5 or to 6 out of the total 16, which is uh, amounts to about 30% or 31%. While with the Havi B3 Pro 1s, I had to use it all the way up to about halfway or 8 out of this total 16 uh, in the volume. So these Havi earphones definitely drain your battery a lot faster than the VSonic GR07. So that is just something to note before uh, buying these earphones. Now, in terms of sound quality, remember the Havi B3 Pro 1s are priced at $60, while the VSonic GR07s are now priced at $127, but they were originally $179.99. That said, that does not mean that the VSonic GR07s are three times uh, better than the Havi B3 Pro 1s, because that is totally not true. And if that's the case, I would not even bother making this comparison video. I still think that the Havi B3 Pro 1s are a fantastic option if you're looking for a neutral earphone uh, with a very big sound stage and you're on a budget. So let's get into the nitty gritty in terms of the sound quality. Now going into the bass, in terms of the bass, I think the VSonic GR7s are definitely much more bassier compared to the Havi earphones. Now just because it's the bass edition versions that I have here does not make this a bass head earphone because that is totally not true. These earphones are definitely Basier than neutral, but it's not that much basier than that. Than uh, that, and I'll leave it at that. So I think that the GRL7s are definitely much more punchier overall. It's more warm sounding, and I think that they have more impact as well. So in terms of bass, I think both of these earphones are very tight in the bass, and they both extend very low as well. But I do think that the GRL7s wins out because it has a little more texture and it's just more dynamic sounding overall. Now going into the mid-range, I actually think that the Havis are a little bit more clear in terms of the mid-range compared to the VSonic GR07s. Uh, but that said, I think that the Havis are a bit too lean for me sometimes, and I think that the GR07 is the right mixture in terms of like, in the right balance between being lean or too thick. So it's just right smack dab in the middle. So I think that's perfect for me. Now going into the treble, I think that the treble on the GR07 is overall more refined and it actually is more interesting in terms of the treble compared to the Havi earphones uh, because it has more bite and it actually has more energy in the treble as well. That said, the GR07s are definitely more sibilant. So what sibilant means is certain words with S's like sassy, sparky, smart. Those kind of words are a little are more pronounced on these earphones and if you're really sensitive to that, I would say uh, pick the uh, Havi earphones. That said, in terms of the treble, I, both again are very well extended in the treble, and I think overall, I think the GRL7s are just not as dry sounding in the uh, overall in terms of the sound compared to the heavy earphones, and I prefer that on the GRL7s. Now going into the sound stage, this is absolutely no contest. The heavies definitely win out because the heavies are just, I said this many times before, it honestly feels like a full size headphones when I'm listening to these earphones. The, it's a very out of the head experience. It's better in terms of layering and depth as well and like precision in placing instruments is much wider sounding compared to the GRL7s. That said, the GRL7s are very very good in terms of soundstage on, in its own right. It's definitely very wide and it definitely places instruments very well as well. But I think that at times it does sound a little diffuse overall compared to the Havis. So what's my verdict between the VSonic GR07 Bass Edition and the Havi B3 Pro 1? Well, if I had to pick one of these earphones to keep in the end of all of this, I would still say it's the VSonic GR07. And I still think that they're earphone to beat because it has a perfect combination of amazing build quality. Its isolation does lack compared to the Havi B3 Pro 1s, but it's super comfortable because of the adjustable nozzle and the earpiece are, again, very small as well. And the sound quality is just amazing. It uh, definitely has that ba extra bass response and that extra uh, treble energy to make it work better with a wider variety of different genres compared to the Havis. Uh, which I think at times can sound a little bit too thin and a little bit uh, boring in a sense. That said, I still highly recommend the Havi B3 Pro 1s if you're looking for a neutral option and you're on a budget and you're looking for something supremely unique in that price range. So I hope that video helped you guys out. If you have any questions on the VSonic GR07 or the Havi B3 Pro 1s, definitely hit me up in the comments below. I'm going to try to have a review up on the VSonic GR 07s up soon, and if it's when it's up, I'll put it in the annotation above my finger over here. 
but uh, definitely like and subscribe to this video. And uh, you can follow me now on facebook.com slash onastudentbudget, or you can tweet me now at onstudentbudget. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a nice week.